Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. I am Rose Shadowcat, and welcome back to Irrational. Uh, I'm getting off of where we left off last time. If you don't, if you didn't watch the first one, there's going to be here or here or here or here. <laughs> I don't know where. Uh, a little pop-up that's going to tell you that uh, hey, there is the first episode, and then there's going to be probably one in the end card. So, I hope you enjoy. So we just got out. Uh, we took control, finally. Uh, nothing to say about the well. Okay. Eh. Let's go. What if I go over here? Hmm, I don't think I can. Okay. Uh... This is so weird. Like, I don't know where stuff is. Necessarily. Okay, there was nothing there. Left Belagor Animal Clinic, right Belagor train st station. Oh wait, we get to choose! Do I go left or do I go right? Okay, so I think I'm going to go to the train station. Well, mm, that's a hard decision. I want to go to the train station because there's a live person there. Or we can go left. Which would be to the animal clinic. Let's go to the animal clinic because I know that we can always contact Furky and visit her. But right now we need to go to the person who's dying, basically. Excuse me? Yes? My cat, Narai, where is he? Oh, yes, Abed is working on him right now. It's the room behind you and up. Thanks. I hope I'm maintaining the same voice. I... No. I can't do it. Why can't I do it? This is too important for me to... to be like this. I need this. Just this once. Please. Please! Let me have this. I just want to say goodbye. I don't want to be like this. This cannot be who I am. I did not expect this. Jordan? Hey, Lucy. What are you doing here? Checking up on you. Oh. Yeah, I know. But this isn't the first time people have been worried about you. It's fine. I figured since Furky moved, you must be pretty bummed out. And the whole Lurai thing... Well... 
listen, I didn't come to tell you that everything is going to be alright and all that. Because right now, everything isn't alright. Everything kind of sucks. Um, I'm not really in the mood for this. And that's okay. Huh? I don't want to meddle or anything, I just want to say it's okay to be sad and scared. Don't fight it so much. I'll let you be. I couldn't say goodbye to Lurai. And now I'll never get the chance again. I know. And I'm not sure if I should blame it on my anxiety or myself. Wanna step outside, get some fresh air? Just in the backyard. Okay. You know, I have a brother with anxiety. Yeah, I remember. I didn't get it at first. Being scared of things that aren't scary. Being scared of being scared? Sounded crazy. I feel crazy. He was so strong about it, though. He kept fighting it, forcing himself to do things he knew would make him uncomfortable. Just... Push the anxiety down. Did he get better then? Not at all. He was so angry about it. It was like a battle to him and he wanted to win. But that mindset just made everything worse. You can't win a battle against yourself. What he eventually came to terms with was that he couldn't get better by trying to get rid of anxiety. So he learned to live with it. And by doing that, he learned to lost to it again. He never lost to it again. I can read. He tried to do things he wanted, but he no longer forced himself. Because anxiety is not a single epic moment away from disappearing. It's a process. It might take time. It will take time. Rather, but he enjoyed what he could do now and looked forward to things he could do in the future. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's telling me the story that is up, uh, applicable to me. He's using his brother as a way to give advice to me. But that's not what I'm doing. It was... <laughs> but that's not what's going on. Ultimately, your feelings are your own and not mine or my brother's. I don't know what you're going through, so the only actual advice I'll give to you and everyone who suffers is figure it out what works for you. Talk to people. Try to take care of yourself because you deserve that. And that alone is a tell task. But hey, deal with it. Because I know you can do it. You'll be okay, Lucy. Maybe. Well, I was hoping for a hell yeah, but it's a start. This day still sucked though. Yep. But hey, time passes. It will soon be yesterday that sucked, because tomorrow is another day. What does that even mean? It means tomorrow is not today. Well, duh, that's a dumb saying. Your face is dumb. Perkywood said the same thing to me. Huh. Who would have thought? So, I guess I just gotta give it time. Time heals all wounds. Stop. Okay. She get a new cat. Lucy, wait, no, wrong voice. Lucy, Perky. Man, I've missed people calling me that. 
What? People in your town has the audacity to call you by your real name? It's a lawless place, I'm telling you. But other than that, how have you been? Great, actually. They keep bringing in cake at work, at my work, and insist I eat some. Still? Yeah, I do know. I thought there were just a bunch of birthdays, but now I'm thinking it's actually on a schedule. Like some sort of morale booster. Wouldn't you then be required to bring cake at some point? If it's on schedule, will different people bring it? See? That's the thing. I have no idea. I just worry someday I'll show up and there is a gang of people expecting you to have cake for them. Why don't you just ask? I don't want to be the person who doesn't know the cake rules. <sighs> they are shunned by society. So, how about you? Been doing some awesome stuff lately? I don't know about awesome. You've been seeing a psychiatrist, yeah? Is that going alright? Oh yeah. It's alright. It's a little... I don't know, weird to have a person stare at you and do those mini nods every time you say something. But I think it's helping. That's awesome. Stop using that word. Radical! <laughs> Radical. Oh god. Seriously, I'm glad you're doing good. Thanks. Oh, uh, by the way, did you figure out what to do with my old room? Not really. I've just placed a couch and a few knickknacks in there. Seems like as good as any place to chill before Jordan and Malcolm arrive. Yeah, I've kinda... I kind of miss just sitting down with you. Me too. And I guess that's the joy killers. As if they knew. Speaking of the devils. Hey, glad you could make it. Thanks for inviting us. Sorry for coming a little early. Jordan was hungry and thought coming early meant eating early. It's alright. Says you. Huh? Was that Furky? No, it's your mom. Sounds too slim to be Jordan's mom. Wow, hey, that was totally un unprovoked. Well, I didn't get to finish my nap because of you. Oh god, I can already see the food fight coming. Depends on what we're having. Knives and grenades. Uh, yum. We're having lamb. How is that even better? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sure there's people that eat lamb. But I find that weird. <laughs> but again, I don't eat red meat, so I guess. I don't eat beef or pork really so <laughs> sounds nice yep come in and relax i'll start cooking see coming early doesn't mean early food whatever is that like sharpening knife sound that what makes me think uh, that that's what that makes me think okay but that's scraping Come here, kitty. What's its name again? Shimmy. Shimmers a lot, does it? Come here, Shimmy. No, here, I have the best- wait. No, here, I have the best pets. I'm the one who feeds you. Hey, the rule was not to use food as an attraction to win. He's my cat. If he doesn't come to me, it'll be travesty. Dear cat. Me, I have a longest nails to give good scratches. Scritches. Scratches. Same thing. Pss, 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 pss. I swear I'll do something no one else is willing to do. What are you implying? I can show you a whole new world of pleasure. Stop. Stop that. <laughs> oh, oh, 
that's right. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Good kitty. Aw. Damn it. Almost had it. So I guess we're doing the dishes. I knew we should have just played rock, paper, scissor. <laughs> oh, this is how they decide how to who's gonna wash the dishes. That's awesome. My cat would literally pick everyone. <laughs> Let's just get it over with. Hey Malcolm, how about, uh, I don't know, helping out? I'm supervising. Supervise this glass in your face. Come on, come help. Violence is not a good motivator. I'll tell on you. What? Lucy, Malcolm is not helping us. It's true. All right, all right, keep it down. I'll help. Great. And thanks for the invite. No problem. Nice having you over. If you feel like it, you should drop by the cafe tomorrow. Malcolm and I will be there in the afternoon. I'll definitely be there at four. Sounds nice. I'll try to show up. This is so nice. You know, they're actually trying and stuff and... It's nice. Great. See you some other time, Furky. See ya. And it's raining outside. Yes, Malcolm left at the, at the right time. Just run, man. My hair, though. A fabulous hair. Does your hair matter when you're just going home? I like to look good while sleeping. Is that why they call it beauty sleep? Ooh. Want to borrow an umbrella? Nah, I'm gonna take a shower when I get home anyway. What? But... But then why does the rain matter? <laughs> what? You just said I right, I'll leave. Good night. Good night. Urgh. Well, just the two of us then. Yeah, hey, thanks for letting me stay the night. No problem. It's nice having you over. When are you leaving tomorrow? Around noon. Gotta catch that train. Yeah, of course. Lucy? <laughs> Wrong voice. Lucy? Hmm. You've done really great. Yeah. I know you're still de uh, dealing with stuff and... You know, so am I. But it's nice being with you. Always has been. And even though I moved and stuff, I still want you to know, you can always talk to me if you want, about whatever. And I hope I can talk to you too. Nah, talking about your feelings is a sign of weakness. Don't sass me. I'm actually trying here. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. I really want to visit you sometime. I know. You're always welcome. Day or night, just knock at my door and I'll let you in. Lock the door behind so you can never leave. Okay, but what if you're not home? <laughs> you have fruit at your place? Yeah. In a bowl. Good. You should really do the same. I will. Someday. So, you tired or... Oh, you wanna sleep? No, I mean, if you are. Huh? I don't know, I was just trying to ask if you wanted to relax for a bit. Yeah, that sounds nice. And let's see what I did with your old room? Right, yeah. There's one thing I kinda want to do first, though. And what might that be? Well, remember you told me you've begun drawing again? No? No? I mean, yes, but no. You can't see them. Aw, come on, you know I'm gonna say nice things. 
Well, sir, they're not here. What? Your drawings flew out the window? No, of course not. I'm having them washed. Man, I totally believe that. That's straight up common thing to do. Uh, yeah, I'm just so confused. Yep, so let's just go to your room. Hmm? Alright, alright. Hey! <laughs> Papyrus? <laughs> You know, for someone who's being secretive about their art, you sure didn't hide it well. You know, for someone in their twenties, you sure are being an ass. Would it help if I said you're really good, though? No. Did you use the ink pens I bought for you to make these? Not for these ones. There's more? Yeah, there's one in my desk. On my desk. I tried using them on that, but it's not finished. May I, may I see? Would my answer change anything? Come on, I've turned a new leaf. Alright. Wow. I really like it. You drew us. Well, I tried. This one. Huh? This is my favorite. I'm so handsome. Well... And look at your cute face. Look, look. I am looking. What's missing? What do you mean? You said it wasn't finished. Oh, I don't know. I just... I figured that would be a good excuse if you didn't like it. I know what's missing. Hmm? May I? You wanna draw on it? You're gonna draw hard, aren't you? I won't draw it, don't worry. Just wanted to add a little something. Uh, sure, go ahead. She's gonna draw hard. Knew it! She drew a heart. <laughs> there. Yeah, it does look better now. Should think about becoming an artist myself. Mm -hmm. I've heard it's a stable line of work. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sure. So I guess I owe you a million bucks now for drawing me. With interest, please. Isn't interest only added when you loan money to someone? You know, a normal person wouldn't have just kept the joke going instead of getting all up in my face about the finishings. Yeah? Wanna fight about it? I'll kick your ass. Oh, I thought you'd be back down immediately. Now I'm having second thoughts. Too late. Score up, buckaroo. Please, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't. Better save those million bucks for your hospital bill. Holy crap, Lucy, that's brutal. Virgil. Frick. Oh, didn't mean to startle you. You did, though. Yeah, you're right. Damn it, Ferky. So, couldn't find you this morning. What are you doing out here? I uh, didn't feel great when I woke up. 
they wanted spiraling out of control, so I figured it might help going outside. Oh, okay. Are you alright? Yeah, I took some pills that helps keep it down. Just feeling a little heavy, I guess. Alright. You ate breakfast yet? I had a glass of water. That's not breakfast. Yeah, that might not work. So, what do you want then? What? Breakfast. Boarding food? I'll make you some. Oh, you don't need to do that. Gonna do it whether you complain or not. So, what do you feel like? Uh, scrambled eggs like last time. I could go for some scrambled eggs. This time she actually picks them, yay! My choices matter, finally! <laughs> Eggs, scrambled, got it. Thanks, Furky. Not even a thing. Let's go so throw some eggs in you, then. <laughs> Mind if we stay a little longer? Just till Shimi wakes up. I'm surprised you yelling Frig didn't wake him up. Wouldn't be much use in a home invasion, no. Well, let's sit down, then. But what does it mean? Usually means the other person is now in an adventurous position, right? No, yeah, but what does it matter that a table has turned? A table is commonly pretty rectangular, right? If the table has turned, nothing changes. You'll all be sitting at the same spot, looking the same direction, at the same table. Well, yeah, but I guess it's like... It's if the boss is sitting at one end of the table, the one who makes the calls and the employee is sitting at the other side, having a table turned would mean their position has changed. Not physically, but their ranks have changed. The employee now makes calls because the tables have turned. I God damn it, that kind of makes sense. <laughs> and that makes you mad. You know I love complaining about meaningless stuff. No, no, this is important, like a do-or-die situation right here. <gasps> there's a bunny! I'm sorry, there's a bunny! <laughs> right? Totally. Oh, birds! Go get him, Shimmy. Don't think he can jump that high. Not much of a hunter, no? About the same as Lura. If it doesn't move, he'll catch it. <laughs> Impressive. How's it going with him, though? You becoming best friends yet? We're getting there. I think him and Lura would have actually hit it off really well. Oh yeah, very well. Literally anyone and anything. Kidnapper's dream. I see what you did there. True, he always screwed up at the nearest person. Really helped me to calm down. Yeah, it's... I'm sorry about that. What? It's not exactly a bad thing. No, I mean, I'm sorry I left you at the worst possible time. God, I can't even imagine how hard all of those of that must have been for you. It sucked balls. Ha, <laughs> yeah, really freaking sorry about that. I know. The timing was just bad, I guess. But I don't blame you for moving, you know? And I somehow managed to get through it either way. I'm just glad you're doing okay. Hey, right back at ya. Yeah, you haven't had an uh, actual episode for some time now, right? Right, I probably shouldn't talk about that. No, it's okay, I'm still kinda... I don't know. I'm still scared of it, I guess. But it's being to feel less in my mind. I mean, I still don't feel comfortable taking the train and stuff, but I think I have a little more control over it now. Yeah, I guess a small change happens slowly. It can be hard to notice, but it's happening. You're probably right. I just worry that it'll stop somebody uh, someday. I almost read it as somebody. It'll stop somebody. That's, yeah. That I can't go further, only back. I know, and I can't really say anything reassuring to that. But, if you stand still, you'll at least get more familiar with what's going on, right? 
like watching a horror movie probably isn't that scary to the hundredth time because the surprise factor is out of the way. Yes. <laughs> I mean, ghosts and ghosts are always scary, but at least you know how to defeat them and just have to wait for the main character to annihilate them with a flamethrower or something in the end. What horror movies have you been watching? The good ones, obviously. Sounds like it. And if it all goes to crap, if you end up going backward, you'll know what's ahead. You'll know how to get there. Write that down and frame it on a single mom's wall. <laughs> and if you would just stop worrying so damn much, maybe I wouldn't have to be so peachy all the time with metaphors and crap. Is that a deal? I get better, you stop sounding like a self-help book with a bunch of curse words thrown in. Damn, dude, I'm trying here. Maybe instead of worrying about all of this anxiety nonsense, you should work on appreciating friendly help a little more. I think that's your real issue. You know, I'm kidding. For sure could move away from you twice. So hostile. But I do appreciate it, Ferky. And you know, though you're really good at it, you shouldn't worry so much about saying all the right things at the right time. I always had my accent come out. I know you care, and that's more than I could ever ask for. Even though I probably can't be sunshine and rainbows all the time, I'll be okay. Really. And I'm out of here. Having a good time with you? At least right now. I'm really happy just being here. Yeah. Me too. Guess I finally got in all my ducks in a row. What the hell did that even mean? No idea. Created by M.A. Sterling. Shadow Dragon, I like that name. <laughs> Those are really cool names, by the way. Sound effects. E. Only the ghosts. The sound effects are like really good, by the way, so really good on that. Uh, music is wonderful too, it fits very well. Yeah, there's all the sad music. Um, I really liked it. Hey, it's made in an RPG Maker, how nice. I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, developer. Developers? Person? People? Group? <laughs> Horse wall bike? Okay. Well, this is the end of uh, Irrational. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. I really enjoyed this game. I like the fact that it showed us the perspective of a person with a anxiety, um, with severe anxiety, and it kind of helped. Uh, and I hope it helped some people understand what it's like or what you know what it is. Uh, sound effects and music, wonderful. Uh, the game itself is absolutely beautiful. The art is amazing um the story itself is pretty great i will say that one thing is i'm i have a feeling there's gonna be people that are going to be like well this is a story not a game and to be honest that doesn't matter to me it's if it was made into a game, it's a game, but it has a very functional story that works with being a game. For example, when she was trying to take back control from her anxiety and she 
backed out. Like, that's really cool that, oh, I control her now. Like, we took back control. That was surprising, and I liked it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I shall stop talking a lot and uh, say my outro. I hope you all liked this video. Like it if you did. Dislike it if you didn't. Because... It kind of lets me know if you didn't, but please don't. This is such a great game. <laughs> don't, yeah. If you want, you can play it for yourself. I'll leave a link down below. I should do that for the first time, too. For the first video, too. Oh, well. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below if you have any more recommendations or if you have a question so I can make a reading your comments or a Q&A with Rose. One or the other, whichever one I have more. And I hope you all have a wonderful night and day.